Hey guys, long time I know, sure. All right, we're gonna have a little mukbang, um, and I'm gonna fill you in on everything that's happening. So let's just get started. I'm gonna leave my air conditioner running. Um, we're gonna have Taco Bell today. I am hungry. And let's just address the uh, haircut. Yes, I got my haircut. I decided I wanted it. I wanted bangs and I wanted it fluffy and messy and lots of bangs. And I wanted a little bit. Here's what the back looks like. Can y'all see that? I'm shaved. Yeah. Yes, I think so. Anyway, woo. Okay, let me tell y'all everything that is happening. This is the first time, well, we, my brother and I had to take my mom to the doctor, I think last week, and that was the first time I'd been out in a while, because ever since I picked up mom and took her home, um, she can't be left alone, I had to be with her. Oh, oh, I didn't pray. Father, bless this food, in Jesus' name, amen. We make a skinny food. So. Mom. So I brought mom home, set her up in one of my spare bedrooms. But guys, I figured out real fast on the, well, really the first day, but second day, I figured out I wasn't cut out for it. I couldn't do it. It was a lot of work because she, she'd have to go to the bathroom. I'd have to help her to the wheelchair. <coughs> then I'd have to push her and then put her on the toilet which we used the bedside toilet dude don't hit me because she couldn't get in my bathroom not with a wheelchair and all that I have an old house I live in an older home my hallways are real narrow so anyway it was it was a lot and I tried but um I'm having the five dollar boxes burrito taco and some uh fries and nachos uh-huh mm -hmm. and I'm hungry mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Hold that thought. Well, anyway. I'd have to get up anywhere from 7 to 8. And that's early for me, believe me. To get her breakfast. Because she was up. Near in the beginning... She was like, she couldn't control her bladder. So, by the time I would get her up in the morning, she'd be soaked. The bed, it was, you know, complete bed change every single morning. And, oh, guys, oh my goodness. It was just, it was a lot, okay? And I love my mother, but, ma'am. And I would get up. It got to where after that she would start hollering at me in the nighttime. She'd holler at me about 12 o'clock. I'd go there and change her. Or She'd want to sit on the toilet, which was good because if she was sitting on the toilet, then she wouldn't go soak the bed. So I'd get up at 12 o'clock, put her on the bedside toilet, put her back to bed, and then she'd yell at me at 3, 3 o'clock. Same thing. I'd put her on the toilet and then put her back to bed. Mm. <laughs> And then at seven, she's ready to get up and have breakfast. Oh. My mother doesn't sleep good anyway. 
so I was dying I'm like my back was killing me I was stressed out to no end and then during the daytime get to wear well from day one if I was if I walked out of the living room she'd say where are you going and I'd say like I'm gonna go do laundry and she'd say well how am I gonna be gone and I'm like mom I'm just down the hallway doing laundry and she said well hurry back I don't wanna be alone which the grandkids were in there playing. My daughter-in-law. I mean, you know, it's not like she was alone. She just didn't want me out of her sight. Every time I'd go to the kitchen to fix her something, she'd holler at me. Could you give me this? Could you get me that? Could you do this? Could you... <sighs> Guys, talk about stressed, okay? And I, I couldn't sleep at nighttime because I had to get up so often and take her to the bathroom. I mean, it's just horrible, and and I know I sound bad, but it was really bad. I mean, it really was. <laughs> I couldn't go nowhere because I couldn't leave her alone. Well, my daughter-in-law offered well, my son to watch her so I could get out. But on the days they offered, I was sick as a dog. There's times when I was so sick. I'd still have to, you know, put her in, change her, dress her, bathe her. And I'm not complaining. She is my mother. But when you're almost 60 and you can't hardly move, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm just in bad health. So I finally told her, Mom, I've tried, but I just don't think I can do this. She said, I know, you're you're not healthy. And I said, no, I'm not. No. Well, what one of me was doing at the nursing home, they have two people to do it. Mm-hmm. Well, here's the thing. My mom can't walk on by herself anyway. She can't get up by herself. She was total, total care. 24 hour care. And I was just getting exhausted really fast. So, I prayed. Lord, I need some help. I don't know what to do. I want to do the right thing by her. But, so I called around and I found this one place and it seemed really nice and they were really nice when we took her there but I'm just praying and y'all help me pray too that she'll be okay with this she seemed okay when I left and I called her like an hour after I left and she seemed okay but help me pray she will be okay I mean you know and leaving her there and they had a COVID case pop up so they were back down to lock in we couldn't go in so it's like oh my gosh oh. leaving her there for strangers to take her in show her around It's like taking my kid and dropping my kid off to a stranger, you know? And I just had to pray, God, I trust you, that they will take good care of her. And it broke my heart. I went to my car and cried. Me and my brother took separate vehicles because I wanted to go get my hair cut. But I just, I went to my car and I cried. I was just like, Lord, <laughs> help my mama and help me. So anyway, there is the update. There's a lot of times 
my mother's not the nicest in the world. And there's times she'd just be really mean. Say mean things to me. Hateful. And I forgive her for all of that because she's just old and worn out. I guess. Mmm. But, I mean, there's a lot of time every day she wants me to sit with her, but yet she wants me to get up every five minutes to get something for her. So, I talked to my brother and I said, look, this just ain't going to do it. I can't. I'm tied down. I can't go nowhere. I have to see other people to get my groceries. And my back was killing me. <laughs> well, he said, I, he said, yeah, we'll just have to place her somewhere. And I told him, I said, I hate it. But if they can get her up and walking by George, by all means, we'll get her back. So, I'm just going to pray that they're going to help her walk. Um, yeah. So, guys, that cheese is so good. I love it. Mmm. Y'all like cheese and fries? Cheese fries? I like cheese chili fries. Oh. Alright, guys. That's it. For the update. In the mukbang. Now I have to, I have to, sorry, that was a hiccup. I have to go to Walmart. So I am going to, uh, uh, I'm going to try to vlog in there a little bit. I wasn't able to vlog or anything else with mom because, again, I couldn't even go out of the room without her. Oh. I'm back in business. I miss her. I already miss her. Um, God's going to take care of her. I have to believe in that. So there's my update, my fellow friends. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you guys for um, just hanging in there and not leaving me or unsubscribing from me. And I appreciate <laughs> all your messages. I appreciate all your prayers for all y'all said you're praying. I appreciate that so much. And so, yeah, guys, it's uh, it's been a journey. And at least I can say I tried, you know. So anyway, I'm going to get you guys on the flip side. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell for future notifications, and share my channel. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.